Agriculture Victoria is working with the Country Fire Authority to assist farmers ensure that their farm is as well prepared as possible for the upcoming fire season. A fire plan is like any other plan. If you plan to go overseas, it's really important that you plan ahead. Buy stuff, plan stuff, buy tickets. The same with your farm planning. All year round the farmers do the planning anyway. A fire plan is in case of a fire, what are we actually going to do? And that must be communicated to all the family so that everyone's on the same page. We either all go or we all stay. Well, it's vital to have one extinguisher and a fire blanket in your truck or your car for any eventuality that happens. This is a very small one, but you can get two and a half, four and a half kilogram. The white band is telling you that it's white powder. It's okay for any type of fire. Get it checked twice a year. Well, you stay and defend or you go. Now, whichever way you decide, you make that decision prior to the event. So you don't make last minute decisions. And if you're going, you prepare the property in the same way as if you're staying. So to maximise the result after the fire, minimise damage. So the, the thing about going, if you are going to go, you tell someone in authority that you're going. For example, it might be a police station or someone at the hall, I'm going and I'm going to this property. When I get there, I tell them so we can account for everyone's movements. Too often people say, oh, where's the fire brigade want me to go? I don't know. That's your decision. You've got to work it out. You've got to tell someone when you are leaving and when you have arrived at your destination. But you should take your identification documents. If you want to get back in your property and there are road closures of any sort, you need to prove that you are who you are and where you live. So you need to take your rates notices, your driver's license, and any current documentation like that. Plus, if you're going, your relevant medications, some food and clothing for three or four days. You probably won't get back in 10 minutes. It might be a number of days. If you live on a farm, you should have good supplies year round. Maybe enough tucker for a week and plenty of fuel for your machinery and trucks and cars. You need to plan ahead. Don't panic, just plan ahead. 